Good morning, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome to another episode of our Infotech 2 modded Minecraft Let's Play series. So, since last episode, I've been doing a bit of work. Um, I've been basically going through and getting all of our different fluids from all over the, the base, you know, both buildings and everything. It's been a big hub job because um, I've started kind of getting things a little bit organized, getting ready to. Um, you know start this transfer because we're moving into a lot of new a lot of new things ae2 pneumaticraft we're going to be setting up a fluid room fairly soon um and just doing all kinds of stuff moving into a little bit of automation doing some inter io um and whatnot so i've built on another room there we'll take a look at that in just a second um also i did start messing with bees some of the bees i have set up uh right over here um these, I've got to work with these because they're not wanting to, you know, do work. So, um, I may have to get a bealizer and figure out what flowers they want. Um, I'm not going to cover bees too much on camera, but I will if, we, you know, when we start doing, like, more important things with bees, not just let's run bees and breed them and all that, but once we start getting some good bees or something, you know, I'll give updates as we go. Um, also, over at the base, I did start um, really working with industrial craft plants, like uh, plant breeding and stuff. I may move it over to here, um, just because it would be a little bit easier, because most of my time I've been spending over here. Um, I do want to start working over at the, uh, the house again fairly soon, because we haven't really done a whole lot over there. Um, you know, aside from Thalmcraft and stuff every once in a while. But uh, I would like to start working over there some more. Um, let's see, so over here I've got fluids, um, I grabbed all the fluid stuff that we had, all the excess drums, all the fluid tanks, right here is basically, I can remove this, whenever I go out, um, and do the, um, oil drilling, um, I can just bring the barrels back, throw it right here, and it'll sort for natural gas, raw oil, light oil, and heavy oil. Now granted this is all just temporary for now, but, um, just something that makes it a little bit quicker. You will notice that I moved our quest delivery system over here um, because I've been doing this heavy crack repeatable quest. We have a bunch of loot bags to open um, in just a second. I figured I'd wait for you guys to do that. Um, I've got some stuff here. Actually, some of this stuff. Um, I just brought all this over just a second ago. So I've still got to sort through all of it. We have a lot of these drums um, over here. You notice we have molten polyethylene. We've got lava, air, methane, molten redstone, etching acid, hydrogen gas, honey drum, uh, or honey, um, oxygen gas, sulfuric naphtha, distilled water, mercury, and we've got some molten rubber, rubber, and, okay, we've got some oil too, uh, which actually, we had a bunch of oil over here. I went and got some more, um, but we've ran through all of that. But you will notice that we've got quite a bit of stuff here. Uh, we've got a full barrel of liquid plastic because I've been getting ready for this episode and everything uh, for quite a bit. And of course, this is filled up as well. Um, this was actually accidental that I crafted that um, because I noticed if you click, um, I think it was right here. If you click that, it makes green plastic. Um, not really sure why that is either, but I was I clicked here on accident and made green plastic. So uh, I don't know. And let's see. Oh, right here we've got, yeah, we've got six material bags to open. And actually, we could do this heavy crack quest again because it just uh, came up. So let's, whoops, 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 whoops. Let's do that just really, really fast because, um, you know, we might as well. <laughs> The, uh, the loot bags are definitely worth it. Like, like they're so worth it. These are the, the tier 5 loot bags. So, um, I'm hoping we get another, like, really good titanium one. Would be really, really nice. And there we go. So let's grab that. And I've just been kind of dumping the, uh, industrial credits in here. And then, um, the fuels in here. And we actually get free empty sales from this, too, in addition to everything else. So let's open these up just really, really quickly. Um, I don't have a milk bucket. Okay, I may have to cut camera if I get sick. Um, let's see. First up, we got... Okay, it's one of those with, like, just a bunch of 
different metals, which those honestly aren't bad. The tungsten, I'm, I do believe we're going to be needing that before long, like a bunch of that. Um, we got lithium. I will definitely take that. Uh, we can make batteries with that. We've got more loose metals. Um, oh, shit. There's uranium. And by the way, all this steel, um, I brought it over here. Um, if you recall, we still had those uh, bronze blast furnaces still set up at the, at the old base. And I was, I pulled, I took them all down. Finally, they've been sitting there forever and, you know, I haven't ran them in a long time, but we had a bunch of steel in those. So I was like, oh, good surprise. <laughs> like, that's how badly organized I am at the moment because, I mean, we just got steel lying around. And I was actually coming over here not long ago making steel. And we had some just sitting there. So, funny story. Um, wow, we've got a lot of tungsten. And we've actually got a lot over at the base, too. So, um, definitely can't complain there. And we got bunch of nickel we've got silver I mean we we're getting an absolute ton and I mean this is just something you know I could just I just knock this out just while I'm messing around because um, you know we've got a ton of cracked fuel if you notice we've got oh we've got a full drum full of it right now so and we've got tolling here and we've got um, well that's only a thousand cracked fuel there and how much heavy fuel do we have left quite a bit and I actually think we've got some I don't know if, how much it is but we've got some right here so we have a lot of fuel um, heavy fuel tends to be what I find the most of but I do find a bit of the light oil as well um, let's see so that's all of our material bags and I'll I'll keep turning that in I like turning that quest in a lot um, by the way over here I couldn't add it onto this one um, actually let's Let's pull this vortex tube up. Okay, there it is. <clears throat> I did, <clears throat> I did craft another vortex tube um, because earlier I was running um, this, and then I also wanted to run one over here, going ahead and making the plastic for us. So um, I went ahead and made another one. Now it does drain the system. Um, I did upgrade to four air compressors. Um, it does drain the system when I run two vortex tubes, but. Um, I only run them for a short while, you know, when I'm making the plastic. Um, also, I added heat sinks onto the back. Now, I couldn't put one over here because the drums are in the way. I just didn't feel like moving everything right now. Um, but basically, that heat sink's going to let out all the cold air. Um, and it does make the hot side run a little bit hotter. So, I went ahead and set those up. They're fairly easy to craft. Um, and then, I'll show you... Oops. Wrong button. This one. Uh, just iron. Compressed iron and aluminum so very very cheap um, for those heat sinks and then I went ahead and moved our charcoal barrel over here and I set up a new charcoal barrel down there and I'm just gonna kinda swap them out as we need to um, that way I don't have to manually put charcoal into those um, uh, air compressors and then lastly over here um, we've just got this room it's still got a ways to go I started making transfer pipes um, these are pretty easy to make, just some electrum pipes and steel pipes and stuff. But underneath these covers is like lava water, lava water, and so on, all the way around the room. Um, now we can't make transfer nodes just yet. We're going to have to make a QED. So we're going to need a little bit of, well, I say a little bit. It's actually a decent amount of enderium, um, if I recall correctly, um, to make the QED and all the, the, uh, little laser um, or crystals, sorry. Um, the Eyes of Ender, that's easy. Crafting table's easy. It's mainly Ender-infused obsidian, and then some diamonds, some burnt quartz, which that's, of course, that's very, very easy. Um, and then also um, this Ender-infused obsidian. So we're going to need molten Enderium and some obsidian. Now, one ingot of Enderium should go pretty far because it only requires 36 um, per Ender-infused obsidian. And if I recall correctly, I don't... I don't think I have my Thaumonomicon on me. No, I don't. Um, I believe we can make Enderium with Thaumcraft, but I could be mistaken. I actually might be mistaken. I might double check that in a second and let you guys know. Um, but we are going to need the QED to make the transfer nodes. Now, the world interaction upgrades are still just standard vanilla, so we will, um, 
we won't have any problem crafting those. That's just lapis and iron. Um, but we're going to set up a cobble gen. And um, with this, you have to run your cobble through a packager um, to get your compressed cobble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run basic packagers around the room here. Um, because it takes less than a second for it to package, um, you know, just to get the basic compressed cobblestone. Now, as we move up with compressed cobble, um, it does get, you need a bit more power and a bit more time. Like the double compressed takes one second, a little bit more EU. Now the, the standard compressed, if you notice, it's one EU per tick and less than a second. <coughs> um, what it's 20, what 20 ticks per second. So... Uh, 16 ticks and uh, we'll just kind of work our way up and we're going to be going for octuple compressed because I want to start getting octuple compressed so that we can make bedrockium because if we just get octuple compressed um, we can just straight up I believe smelt this yeah and get blocks of bedrockium so um, I'd like to make some bedrockium drums for our fluid room um, because they're pretty much going to take the place of like a big tank set up we can just throw down a bedrockium drum and have quite a bit of liquid storage. Now the bedrockium drums are fairly cheap um, overall. If you can get the bedrockium then you're all set because it just takes six ingots of bedrockium, a cauldron, weighted pressure plate, and a steel ring. So um, once we get the cobble gen up and going, honestly I think with this setup it could go fairly fast um, because what we'll do is we'll have these packagers running here and then we'll have that output to like another line um, and the lines are going to get smaller because you know we're not going to be producing octuple compressed like it, we're not going to need as many packagers we're just going to need like one packager for octuple septuple and so on um, but we'll we'll make like a little system there to start getting some octuple compressed so anyway, I will quit rambling, um, but that's what I've been doing mainly since last episode, is setting some of this stuff up and um, getting things ready to start moving forward um, with, uh, you know, a few different things here. Um, let's see, so, um, let me actually go check on that Endurian though, I'm kind of curious, so I'll be back in just a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, so we can do Enderium with Thumbcraft. However, I got to looking and it's really not that much different to just do it with um, the Blast Furnace. Because if we do it with the Blast Furnace, um, either way we're going to need this Enderium base. Um, which is mainly, if we look in here, this is, m you need the Molten Enderium base. Um, and it's mainly Platinum, Silver, and some Molten Tin. Um, in a chemical reactor, um, that's not too bad. The platinum, we can actually get that from running uh, crushed nickel. There's a 70% chance to get platinum dust when you run crushed nickel um, through a chemical bath with uh, mercury. So I believe, if I recall correctly, we have, yeah, mercury right here. So that's not going to be an issue at all. <coughs> and realistically, we don't need that much enderium. Um, so... Um, and then we can run this through the vacuum freezer. Um, this is just enderium dust through the blast furnace. Um, it does take a while. Whereas if we did it with um, Thaumcraft, it would be nugget by nugget, but um, it's really not expensive either. So one enderium base nugget, we can use an alienist, two ignis, an iter, and a percantia, which the, none of those are all that hard to get. Alienist, of course, we just throw in ender pearls, and we've got like um, a 64, close to 64 ender pearls right now. So um, that's really not an issue. So I don't know if we'll do which method we'll do. We actually might do the Thalmcraft method. I think we'll do that next episode. Anyway. On to what we're doing today. I do apologize. Uh, it took a little while to get to it. We covered, I wanted to cover all the stuff that we've been doing. Um, but we're going to be working with plastics. So, um, okay. Let's pull this up really, really quickly. So, last episode, you know, we got plastic creation started. Um, but, of course, we didn't have a whole lot of plastic built up. And, um and whatnot and it goes through we, we will go through plastic pretty quickly honestly um, but the first thing that we're going to start wanting to work towards is this UV light box because we're going to want to um, make our 
um, circuit boards. Um, now with Greg Tech, uh, I found out Jason told me that you can use, um, let me pull it up here to get your, uh, PCBs. Let's see. Um, there's another, yeah, right here, the chemical bath, you can use etching acid to get your unassembled PCB. Um, but it's a lower percent chance. So it looks like we got 64% chance. Or no, there's, okay, we can do different percent chances. Um, but that's in the chemical bath. It's going to use up our etching acid. But um, if we do that, um, if we do it with this method, it's not going to use it up. Now, this is going to take a lot longer. Um, this is going to take close to five minutes, whereas the chemical bath is going to take less time. However, this way we're going to have a 100% chance um, to get it, whereas with the chemical bath, it's not a 100% chance, and it's going to use up our etching acid. So I'm going to use this method um, once we get there. So anyway, um, let's start working towards that. Now, we're going to have to get our UV light box, and... To get that, we're going to need a PCB blueprint, and of course, to get that, we're going to need um, to get ourselves an Amadron tablet and some of these ancient gold coins, which looks like we're pretty much just going to have to sell stuff to the uh, with the Amadron tablet, like diesel oil, uh, kerosene, lubricant, gasoline, or LPG. Um, but that shouldn't be an issue because we have plenty of this stuff. So we'll probably just sell like, I don't know, diesel or kerosene or something because we've got, yeah, we've got like 56 buckets, of kerosene, gasoline, that stuff. Um, but to get our Amadron tablet, let's see. Okay. I finally found it. Um, I, I don't know. I was sitting here looking through this forever. I don't know why I couldn't find it. Um, to get this, we're just going to need some gray plastic, an air canister, and a GPS tool, um, none of which are all that hard to get. Um, we're going to need to run compressed iron plates and a pressure tube. That's not a problem. And we've actually got a assembler set up with molten redstone in it. So let's go ahead and get that air canister crafted. And then we'll get our GPS tool, which we've actually got... We've got some industrial diamonds right here, so that's not a problem either. And there we go. Okay. And <clears throat> then our GPS tool. Let's say some red plastic, glass pane, redstone torch, and an industrial diamond. Let me actually. Let me go grab some wood really quick. Because I'm sure I don't have sticks on me. Unless I have some... No. I've got some red, uh, a redstone torch, but not enough. Okay. That'll work. And some glass. And yeah. So how much plastic are we going to need for this? We're going to need, what, seven gray and four red. Four and... There we go. And we got that green melted back down, which is awesome. Um, so let's... Let's get this crafted. Oh yeah, I forgot to grab the uh, the redstone. Let me grab that really, really fast. And I brought, if you notice, I brought a bunch of just like assorted materials down here because um, it was just a lot easier than you know having to go back over to the other base. Um, hopefully, fairly soon we'll have an AE system. Um, you know, we could set it up now, but Pneumaticraft's something I really wanted to go ahead and get into. Um, you know now so pretty soon we'll switch gears and that's probably going to be the next thing I think that we'll work on 
because getting an AE, AE system set up would be extremely nice for us. So there's our Amadron tablet. Now this does require pressure to work, so we're going to have to make a charging station. Um, chances are it should be pretty easy. I actually didn't think to look to see if it was any different than... God, am I, I can't find anything today. I think I'm losing my mind. Um, I like to just be able to have it. I, you know, I could search for it, but I like to just have it all right here. Okay, here we go. Uh, God, I'm, I think I'm like blind or something. So we're going to need a bronze rotor, um, a couple bricks, cobblestone slabs, and some pressure tubes. Fairly easy to craft that. Um, let me run over and get some cobblestone and... Um, I'm actually fairly positive that we have bronze rotors already crafted up because we had used those um, quite heavily making machine uh, machines a while back. Machine parts and stuff. I want to say it was the MV or HV something. I can't recall. Um, but anyway, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, so we didn't have any more um, rotors made up, I guess. But... We should be all set now to get our charging station. There we go. Now this thing does require air pressure. So you're going to want to put this somewhere. Um, I think I'm going to stick it right there. And so it's got pressure in it now. And we can just put our Amadron tablet into here. And that's going to start charging it up. Now... So we've got that. Let's see. We're going to need a chest. And I can't recall if you can do this inside, if they'll come inside or not. I'm not entirely sure. Also, I've never dealt with liquids with this. I wonder if we can just... Hmm. You know, I'm not sure. When it comes to selling liquids... Um... Okay, it looks like we can just use a tank. Alright, that works. So let's get... I think we're just going to get... Um, a BC factory tank? Maybe? Or, I tell you what, let's use a fluid tank. Let me grab one of these. Um, because we're going to need to sell some liquids to get our PCB blueprint. So, let's see. To actually buy that blueprint we're gonna need four ancient gold coins so let's sell gasoline one bucket of gasoline no it's sorry it's one and a half that's fine so what we'll need six buckets of gasoline I'm assuming that we can use this one two three four five, six. I, I don't know why I was counting. It says right there how much gasoline it's got. Um, so let's grab that. Get our Amadron tablet. God, my inventory. Like a few minutes into the episode and it's like, okay, we've been here long enough. Inventory is officially fucked. Alright, let's throw some of this junk in here. There we go. That's better. Uh, that's a little bit better anyway. Um, so I'm not entirely sure if we can set this up inside. I've never actually tried. We're going to set it up outside, though, because I like setting it up outside. So we'll set it right here. And then we can shift-right-click this. Um, so see, it sets the liquid providing location to there. And let's set up a chest right there and shift-right-click. Now the item providing location is here. And what we can do is we can open up this Amadron tablet. And it's almost like using a tablet in real life. So let's see. We want to sell gasoline. So let's, let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Problems. No problems. All right. I want to. Yeah, I want to add it to my basket. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, it's right click. Sorry. I was left click. And then we just hit order. And it'll take just a second for this, but it's really cool to watch. That's why I want to want to show you guys. Hey, buddies. Here fairly soon. There it is. So we've got a delivery system that just came and got our fluid. And I guess it's going to go away with it. Okay, here it comes. About to say, like, you didn't pay me. <laughs> All right. And there we go. And it brought us our ancient gold coins. So, and by the way, that's drones, too. So, we'll be using those later on for automation of lots of fun things. You die. Hey, zombie head. I'll take it. Um, so, now that we've got our four gold coins, we can put those into this chest. And then we can order our blueprints. So, let's... Here it is. Okay. So we'll add that to our basket and order it. I keep wanting to left click that. It's like one of the few things ever that you right click in the in the GUI to, to do things. Alright, so it got our money and it's going to take it away and bring back our blueprint. I love these things, by the way. Like once you hit this point in Pneumatocraft, like that's when it gets exciting for me because the drones, I think they're the, like, the best things ever. Like... They're just amazing. They're just amazing. And that's one thing that I absolutely love about Pneumatocraft is like, you know, it's not a mod. If you look through here, it's not a mod that adds a ton of things. It, it you know, it adds, <clears throat> you know, a decent amount of things. It's about like Ender.io as far as number of things that are added. However, the things that it adds are so unique. You don't find them in other mods, I don't feel like. Like drones and golems are like my favorite things for automation because they're just so like, just so cute, I guess. And yes, I, I use the word cute. Um, but anyway, so we've got our PCB blueprint. And so now we can make our UV light box. So if I can find it, I'm having such trouble today finding things. So we're going to need just some compressed iron plates, some pressure tubes. Do I have four? Yeah, I have four plates in here. Okay, I've got more compressed iron made upstairs. I just haven't grabbed it out of there. Um, and then we're going to need these purple lamps from Project Red Illumination. So we're going to need some purple Illumin, uh, Lumar, uh, some glowstone and purple dye. And let's see. I've had to make that Illumar before. Um, let me grab something. Honestly, I don't remember what I was going to grab. What was I doing? Oh, glass paint. I've already got those on me. Okay. Um, let me go grab some purple dye and glowstone, and I will be back in just one second. Okay, welcome back. Um, so we've got... Well, we're about to have our six purple dyes, and now we'll get our Lumar crafted. Oh, that's right. We're going to need more than that. That's fine. That's why I had six of them. Alright. So there's those. And then... Just like that. What am I missing? Oh, glass panes. Okay. That's fine. That. 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 And then... I forgot to grab the compressed iron and stuff. Alright. And there we go. So we got our UV light box. Now this will also require um, us to give it some air pressure. So we'll just put it... No? Not there. I need it to actually connect. Why you, why you, why you don't want to connect? There we go. Okay. Looks like it always turns the opposite way that I want it to turn. So anyway, we've got that now. Now, to actually make our PCBs, I was looking... And... We're going to need some annealed copper foil. That's not a problem. But we're also going to need this epoxy coated plastic. So we're going to need a polyethylene sheet and some molten epoxy. Um, to get this, let's see, the chemical reactor, nitrogen dioxide, naphtha, and some 
epichlorhydrin. <laughs> All right. Let's get on that. So we're going to need some chlorine, some carbon, and some LPG. Well, shit. All my LPG is used up at the moment. But we can actually make LPG with, um, you know, these other different material, or these other different liquids here. So let's go with gasoline, I think. And let's see. I can't remember what we need to run with the gasoline to get the LPG. So let's take a look. Well, that's cool. <laughs> no, I want. Oh, let me see here. The um, no, I don't want nitro diesel. I want. I believe it's through here, if I recall correctly. Oh, we've got LPG here. Can I not? Pretty sure I can't get that out. Actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, I can't remember. I mean, I believe the gasoline goes in here. I just can't think of... Oh, yeah, it tells what recipes. I'm sorry. I'm totally derping. Uh, diesel to lubricant. Diesel to kerosene kerosene to gasoline gasoline to LPG yeah so we, we would need a little bit of air pressure in there which we don't actually have this plugged up for pressure so what I'm gonna do is let's just this is oil we'll take this and by the way you can create um, the oil for this refinery with the um, drilled oils as well like the heavy oil and stuff so um, you know, that's an option as well. I'm going to set this to insert that for right now. And let's set that up there. Oh, and I need to set up the vortex tube for this as well. Okay. And no, that's not the side that I want. Flip flop it. There we go. Okay, so we should start getting some LPG with this. And now while that's running, um, God, this epoxid is like stout to make. I think it's just time consuming. <laughs> uh, molten epoxid. So let's see. Yeah, that's like the only way to make it. Looks like. Actually, I'll tell you what. I wonder. I wonder something. Let me check something. Because if we can just order it, I might just order it, honestly. <laughs> um, lubricant, oil. No. Guess not. That's fine. Okay. So we actually have to do this legit. I was going to say, because we could sell that stuff. That stuff's easy to sell. Um, let me... Let me get some things together for this, because we're going to need all of this in a chemical reactor, nitrogen dioxide, naphtha, uh, epichlorhydrin, LPG, chlorine, carbon. Okay, yeah, give me a second. I'm going to get, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff made up. And because it's going to take a little bit of processing to get through this, um, or at least get it started, and I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> 